Welcome back. I'm playing Warhammer 40,000 Sanctus Reach, and we'll get started on another campaign here. As you can see, the upgraded versions of the Hour of the Wolf and the Red War have now been completed. I think I'll do the Red War next. That way we can see what the Astra Militarum units look like, and then I'll likely go back and do the Hour of the Wolf, and then hopefully by that time, the Horrors of the Warp campaign will be available, and we'll be able to see what all these different uh, campaigns have to offer here with these upgraded units. So, the Red War DLC. An arm armada of orc spacecraft is rampaging through the Sanctus Reach system. They grow in strength in each world they conquer as battle crazed greenskins come from all over the galaxy in hope of participating in one of the greatest wars of all time. The Red War has consumed all in its path. Its target, Elric Prime. The Night World has summoned an elite Astro Militarum. Has summoned the elite Astro Militarum. Several regiments of Cadian shock troops and contingent of Tempestus Scions to aid them in implementing war. Only the valor of true heroes has any hope in stopping it. Upgraded. Orc units replaced with upgraded versions in all story missions, and even mix of standard and upgraded orc units in skirmish missions. And I think I changed it so then all the opponents should be uh, upgraded units on a skirmish mission just to make it more challenging. We'll see if that worked or not. It sounds like we're not 100% sure if that's going to work, but I copied over the files to see if that would happen, so it may or may not occur. The Astra Militarum level up ability potency increases much more than standard progressively per level. Level up abilities never show up more than once for each individual unit, and Iron Man permadeath mode has been implemented. Now we had some difficulty doing that with the legacy of the Weird Boy, because uh, it seemed like whenever you do a campaign mission, the units that had died would come back. Um, but he thinks he was able to f make something potentially work here, so that's one of the things we're going to find out as I play through the campaign to see if the permadeath is in fact working as planned or if it's still a little bit buggy but we'll get this plan and see what we can find out here and then obviously we'll end up playing on grim darkness which is the hardest difficulty in this game uh, so we just can see here and that can be quite challenging because they can summon waves so it's going to be a big push for us to try to beat these missions before a bunch of before a bunch of guys come and get us. Uh, play intro mission. Why is there like two options here? Alright, I guess I'll just do that. I don't think there's a way that you skip the intro mission, is there? And we'll do plasma guns and las guns. I'm not a huge fan of the grenades. I guess a flamer could be good. Uh, let's do last guns. Alright. Guardsmen have poor, fairly poor accuracy, but Laz weapon power does not degrade over distance like projectile weapons. Suppressing fire! Plasma guns have great hitting power, but are quite inaccurate. They're perfect against elite infantry and are reasonable against heavy armor. Hmm. Maybe I want to have all these guys here. Suppressing fire! There we go. Good. And maybe I'll just have you sit down this way, because your range is going to be so much less. Nice job. Move you up. Plasma gun. Nice. Alright. Hmm. Kind of stuck, it looks like. Alright. Let's come there. Come 
here. Your guardsmen are vulnerable out in the open. Your chimera is a transport, so go and pick them up. That makes me nervous, like is something coming for me? I feel like that's trying to be what it's telling me. Abhunits known as Bulgrins are a formidable sight to behold. Clad in custom-made carapace armor made from the discarded tracks of a Lehman Rust, they carry crude assault weaponry that capitalizes on their stature and resilience. Bulgrins carry a slab shield, which provide a tremendous protection on the from the front. A very tough unit who can hold up an enemy advance for many turns and cause havoc to groups of low-armored em enemies with their grenader gauntlets. Olgrins are crude and exceptionally resilient breed of abhuman hailing from a primitive high gravity world lacking in intellect. Olgrins compensate for their stupidity with overwhelming physicality. They can shrug off wounds that would kill an Imperial Guardsman. An Olgrins Ripper gun is a devastating short range. Devastating at short range, their strength and toughness make them decent in combat. Melee combat. Unfortunately, like Bulgrins, they suffer from crippling claustrophobia, so they cannot use transports. Hmm. Do I try to hold the line? Or do I pull back, I wonder? I feel like I should try to hold the line. don't know if he's going to be able to cross. How many movement do you have? Twenty. Mm, he might be able to get me. Do something like that, I guess. See what happens. Killed the other one, which is good. Zeno's weapon. Good job. Good. Let's try to space you out a little bit. That way we're not continuously getting grenaded.
turn. Oh, look at him with his look. Why can't I do this? Oh, minimum range of three. Alright, come here then. Good job. Alright, Mr. Rupert guns are actually doing quite a bit of damage. Good job. Move the guardsmen up now. I guess the question is, is should I be Oh, got some vehicles over here, it looks like. Actually, if I have a basilisk. Basilisks are mobile artillery platform armed with a massive earth shaker cannon. The powerful shells fired by the basilisk, basilisk are capable of smashing apart both infantry and vehicles with ease. An unmistakable shriek. <clears throat> and the unmistakable shriek of the incoming ordinance is rightly feared by enemies of the Emperor. The earth shaker cannon does not need direct line of sight to a target, but does require a spotter to make best use of its long range. Well, wouldn't you know we've got that? Oh, there's more over here than I thought. The Lehman Rust battle tank is often the spearhead of any Astro Militarum army. The medium range battle cannon is great around all around weapon and the twin last gun is perfect for taking out armor at a long range. Most Astro Militarum tanks have bonus heavy have a bonus heavy bolter that can be fired once per turn. One of the hallmarks of Lehman Rust is its versatility of its hull. With the relative ease it can be refitted to a field number of variant tanks such as the Executioner, Punisher, or Vanquisher. Alright. That's everybody. Hmm. Pretty big hits to you.
don't know if I'd like my uh, unit to be called the Martyr Squad. This way. There's things on the other side here. I thought as much. What do we got? Knobs. Retreat line. Fire mission received. Let's give it another turn. I got the old kill can over here. Tacticals retreat like. All right, let's move you up. Retreat line! Okay, kill. What do we got? Machine Spirit Ritual. This is often it is an offense to know the tech priest rit ritual rights. If you happen to overhear such a thing, report to your regimental commissar for immediate re-education. Or the Emperor protects. Saying a prayer to the Emperor is the best way to improve morale. 
experts confirm this to be true. If you do not say the prayer due to injury, if you cannot say the prayer due to injury, loudly humming the prayer will suffice. He never gains 25 morale. Alright, I guess. I don't think he's going to be able to reach you. Let's just hold off. Alright, you're still alive. I was a little worried he was going to kill you. I don't think I actually attacked with you, did I? Oh yeah, you got stunned, that's what happened. Alright, well, Volgrims. Or is there anybody else? You could get a kill. Level up. So, Bionic Arms, losing a limb in the Emperor's service is a reward with superhuman strength, also handy for opening field rations, melee damage increased by 25%, or veterans. These veteran, these men are all veterans but have survived longer than all casualty reports would suggest. Many whisper that these men may be blessed by a saint or even the Emperor himself. I think I would do <clears throat> combat skill. That was actually kind of a challenging orientation mission there, so, oof. So, the Red War descends. Gruk Face Ripper's Red War makes Planet Fall on Alaric Prime. The orcs must, the orc rush ships plow through a hailstorm of flak and anti-aircraft fire. Protected by shields and thick armor, most make it to the surface and now the ground war begins. The orc numbers number in the millions. The first haphazard wave throws itself to the at the nearest Imperial defenses. Eager to get stuck in, the forces of the Astra Militarum stand ready to repel them. Alright, main objective. Defend at least one victory point to avoid defeat. Capture three victory points to win. Lightly defended position, lightly defended position, Minotaur Minotaurum, defend this position. Xenos forces inbound, massive Xenos activity detected, Xenos forces inbound. Okay, so these must be the three victory points then. And this looks like just the... Did I read this already? Grux face record wall makes planet fall on all our prime. The orc rushes plow through a hailstorm of flak and anti aircraft fire, protected by shields and thick armor. Most make it to the surface and are now, and now the ground war begins. The orc number in the millions. The first haphazard wave throws itself at the nearest imperial defenses. Eager to get stuck in, the forces of the Astra Militarum stand ready to repel them. Alright, well. Let's do some tanks here. Get some basilisks. I think we'll go with some bulgrins. I'm gonna have to use the psychers, even though they're already leveled. They're just so dang good. Uh, I would like to get some sentinels going as well. These bulgrins have almost leveled, so we'll use those. 
get those hellhounds. Commissar, most definitely. And those are all my last gun boys. Plasma guns. Let's get another Chimera. Let's do Ogrens and a Sentinel. I just... I mean, Castellan could be good, I suppose. Especially if there's massive waves of guys coming, because he can. But we'll sit back. I do a bunch of las guns and plasma guns. Alright, let's do that. I'll see if the men can survive. I see, I have to push down. I got it. I hate how you can't turn the way they face. It's like, I think you know I want to go here. I thought I had two Punishers. I guess I just have one. keep you back that way just to make sure you don't get flanked. I guess the Commissar can stay here since we're not sure where they're gonna come from. Yeah. Oh you're my hellhound, that's right. I have a hellhound. So I do not want you to be there. You can be here, I guess. And why don't you start shooting down this tree? And that tree. We don't like trees around here. <clears throat> Just obstructs our views. Good. I suppose you can reach all the way over here, can you? Oh. All right. The orc boy is coming. See, the thing that's going to be hard about this is with all their knobs, so many of them have. Uh, I don't remember what the upgraded boys have. Oh, they've got the blasty shots. That could be bad.
Yeah. I get that. There's four hundred. I was going to say, I imagine I've already attacked with you. A little worried about these burner boys here. I feel like I might have overextended you a little bit. Let's get you over here. I guess I'll bring you here. Like you can clean this up here. Guys, nice. Sharpshooter, with so much time spent on the battlefield, these guardsmen have learned that the one that shoots first wins. This unit gets double the amount of shots and reaction fires. Trigger reaction fire shots also 
are trembled if combined with the rap rapid fire ability. I don't know what that means. Uh, mechanized, if you don't get out of the vehicle in under two seconds, I'll throw you under the tracks. Commissar Vladius Constantine allows two actions after disembarking from a vehicle and has a movement penalty from disembarking from Valkyries. Nope, sharpshooter. Better. Tacticals retreat like. I never did finish this stuff over here, did I? So you've attacked, you've attacked. Should have done that first. See what happens here. That's problematic. Try to sort this out. Definitely, we want to upgrade your optics. We got a little flamer guy down here. It's trying to be a pain in the ass. So let's just take him out. Move you over 
here. Ah, oh, can't get him. But I can do this. Must be just out of his range. with this death dread. Oh, he's got the heavy armor. Pull you all back, I guess. Let's see what happens. Watch this guy get the kill. Oh my god, come on. This is ridiculous. I'm committed. Ugh. There you go. A little overkill, but let's get you the optics as well.
Nice. Optics. As much as I hate to uh, waste your attack, I think I'm gonna have to. Hey, crack ammo. These were supposed to be standard ammo, but a rounding error at the administratum, administratum sent them to the other side of the galaxy. Estimated time of arrival M52 fires a much lower damage reduc fires with a much lower damage reduction of the target's heavy armor. Hell yeah! Give me a little anti. Oh, I was kind of hoping I was going to do more. No, don't fire. You're going to hit your own guys. Trying. Jerk. Suppressing fire! Alright, 
Let's get you veterans. Let's turn you just in case you get shot. I guess that was going to kill him. Alright, so heal. I got those guys. Zeno's found. Firing main weapon. Zeno's found. Firing main weapon. Uh, who do I want to kill? I feel like I gotta drop this guy. Let you heal up for a turn in terms of your morale. Oh, that's not good. Like I'm trying to push. Start to make some progress.
Central is on the hunt. else pulled back. one more victory point and we should have victory What the fuck? Alright, there you go. I'm gonna get your sharpshooter. There's another weird boy here. Dang it. Good job. Let's see. Frequency modulator. Experimental last weaponry modification. They don't call them flashlights for nothing. No effect on vehicles unless their crew are exposed. Every individual shot at last weapon has a 4% chance of blind the target. Four tiles, 50%. Line the sight. Minus accuracy. Minus combat skill. Well. Raises base morale by... I think I'd rather have had the machine spirit, but I'm gonna go with the frequency modulator. Alright. 
Just gotta get one more. down and now we're back to this side let's see you've gained a level Sentinel is on the heart let's let you get the attack there you go oh definitely uh, vehicle repair recovery gear tankers have learned to keep their vehicles running rather than leave their vehicles abandoned they have come to welcome the tight spaces and hot temperatures inside knowing their survival depends on it vehicle gains 50 hit points oh it costs a point though that's too bad Sentinel is on the heart. All right, you have got to get out of there. As to you, he actually might kill you. Point of doing that was to try to get him experience. Zeno's found firing main weapon. Anybody not leveled up yet? You haven't, but you're unlikely to get that. I also haven't leveled up, but...
Oh man, couldn't quite get there. Alright, well, let's just end it. Shit, there's another one there. Good job. Well, no effects on weapon, energy, or missile units. Yeah, that's what I thought. I guess we're going to get Emperor Protects then. We'll come here, and this should end the mission. We're spawning in reinforcements. Alright, ended up losing five guys. That's not great. Yeah, one of my transports and one of my commissars. Those are one of my favorite units, so that makes me sad. But I just couldn't keep them alive. Alright, well, first mission down. I hope you're enjoying these videos. If you are, please give my channel a like and subscribe to encourage me to post more content for you. Have a great day.